who is with Vinny Fiorenza? There's a lot he doesn't know. There's a lot he wants to know. This is a podcast where he tries to learn from people who know things he doesn't. He'll be focusing on people from the worlds of business, entertainment, and the arts. His guests are people he finds fascinating and that he believes will bring value to others. Join him on the journey on finding out who is. Who is Michael Matteo Rossi? Michael Matteo Rossi is a director, writer, uh, producer, and uh, he's actually one of the first industry professionals I met when I came out to L.A., some of the things we're going to get into during this episode are things like his production company, Ital- Italian Cowboy Productions, his some of his eight feature films that he's directed, um, how he might have or might not have named a character after me, and uh, his turtle, Shelly, who's actually older than both of us combined. So join me on finding out who is Michael Matteo Rossi. What's going on, guys? We're here with Michael Matteo Rossi. Good friend, really, really happy to be here with him. Um, tell the audience a little bit about yourself. Like, I know a lot about you, but I'd love for them to know a little bit, too. Yeah, no, well, first of all, it's great to be on here. Thank, Thank you. you. We've known each other for a good minute. Yeah. And, uh, no, I've been I've been doing the filmmaking thing for a little over 16 years now. Jeez Louise. Actually, Sweet yeah. 16. Sweet 16. <laughs> Let's say, here's hoping. Yeah, um yeah, I made my first short film when I was still in college down in San Diego. Nice. It was January of 07 and loved it. Little four minute short and got into a couple festivals and then I just there never looked back. So, I, I just, I loved it so much. So yeah. are you, uh, where are you originally from? Are you from this area? Like what to tell us a little bit LA about? LA born and raised. LA, LA born wow. and raised. You I never was, hear that. No, you never hear that. It's crazy. <laughs> I was actually born on the Kaiser on Sunset. So I can say I was actually born in Hollywood. Wow. That's like saying you were born on the Vegas Strip. It never happens, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So I was, I was born and raised here. Uh, went to high school, Campbell Hall in, uh, in North Hollywood, Studio City. Then went down to San Diego at San Diego State for film, graduated, wow. then came back up here. How was that experience at San Diego State? Oh, it was amazing. Amazing. Um, no. I first went there because uh, <laughs> it was it was three women to every one guy. It was a three to one ratio. There you go. Like the there, ring endorsement for me, of course, being some 17, 18 year old kid. But no, it was it was like 10 <laughs> minutes was, from the beach. You were smart back then, yeah, too. Smart, but I tried to be, you know. <laughs> but really good people, down to earth people, and um, loved it. You know, majored in film down there. Nice. Um, but knew I had to come back up to L.A., yeah. um, you know, to continue making films. But I loved it. Loved nice. living down there. Do you, you, know? do you think, uh, uh, well, actually, but cut to this. Do, yeah. uh, describe, like, your upbringing a little bit. Like, did you have any unique hobbies? And, like, you know, tell me about anything like that. So nobody nobody in my family is in the business. Get out uh, of here. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. So there's no nepotism, no anything like that. Wow. Um, my my younger brother dabbles in screenwriting a little bit, but he kind of gave that up a little um, to kind of do do other ventures. But um, no, I mean it was it was good. You know, did did the whole kid stuff. Played played uh, tennis, soccer, like a little bit of karate, all of that type <laughs> of stuff. But my dad would show me a lot of those classic films growing up. And a lot of the, the yeah the Hitchcock films, Twilight Zone, you know TV show, yeah. all of that, and I loved it. Loved it. Obviously went to see movies in the theaters back of in course. like the '90s. Loved seeing all of that stuff um, at the El Capitan Theater. Seeing, oh, right like, here, yeah. right there. Seeing yeah, well, uh, Lion King when it came out in '94, like Aladdin, you name it. And I just I loved like filmmaking and grew up watching those 80s and 90s action films. That's what really kind of hooked me in. I know based off your film board that yes, we'll get yeah, we'll get yeah. to. You know I know those are some big influences. Yeah, definitely. Be- being being from LA, do you think yeah. that had a big impact on your career choice? I think in part because you're surrounded by it. Like I had friends who were in the business. I had friends that I went to school with that that were either actors or their parents were were you know involved or something like that. And you know, again, I could practically walk to Hollywood Boulevard. Not really walk. No, I got you. Know, yeah, yeah, ten yeah. minutes away. So it's it's definitely in your face. Um, and I think even with the films I make now, um, having all of these resources there, it it helps. 
because still, yeah, you know, people go to other states to film, but a lot of stuff is still filmed in LA. Of or course, so that's never gonna. You know, that's never gonna stop. That's never gonna stop no because way. unless you got a crazy budget, you can put everybody out on an indie level. Most people live here. Yeah. That at least you want to work with actors, all that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that it gave a leg up. I think it did influence me a little bit. But just watching all the movies, I was like, I, man, I gotta, I gotta do this. Yeah, no, I, I understand, and I, I didn't, I didn't know that while I was watching them. But now I look at them very differently. But uh, I understand yeah. what you mean. When yeah. uh, you mentioned all the f films you have made since right. since right. those times. It's hard to keep up with you. How many features have you made at this point? <laughs> like, you know, I, just, dude, like, I, I try to stay consistent. This I just got done with my eighth feature film. Holy crap! And I've done about twelve short films, give wow, or take. Dude. Wow! Uh, like, did I, you write all of them, or is it yeah, like some of yeah, the, a, you wrote a, every single one? I believe so. Of the wow. stuff that I've made. directed, yeah. yes, wow. I've helped, as you know, yeah. in some capacity, produce other films, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. produce, co-produce, all that. Yeah. But uh, the stuff I've directed, I think I've, I've wrote yeah, all of them, wrote all of them wow. co-wrote, but mostly wrote all of them. Wow, Definitely my so features. Such a feat, eight, eight features. I, I just, you know, I let that spill out onto the damn uh, computer, and then I'm like, I want to direct this shit. What, what was your first film? Like, uh, like the first, and you know, obviously, yeah, that I made well, them. Yeah, okay, tell, so tell if us. we're talking features, yeah, I co-directed this found footage film called Loss of Life that, you know, it, it was an amazing experience doing it. Obviously, like, I just got brought on to co-write and co-direct it. Didn't have that much of a budget, but for all intents and purposes, my real first feature was this film called Misogynist. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's a great name. Did that, did that in like my early mid twenties. And, uh, I wouldn't have made it now. I'll tell god. you that much. <laughs> oh my god, even the optics Being of deep it. deep trouble. Even though the film was more of a cautionary tale about, yeah, hey, shit all that world, all of that, but we shot it all in seven days and it's, it's a oh, full wow, that's feature cool, and we did it sag and all that. That mm. was that was a fun little thing. The, the irony is, even those dark, you know, can I swear? Yeah, but bro, go for it. Oh, hell yeah, fucked up cinema, <laughs> you know, and all that. Um, it it was a fun shoot. Everybody got along the whole bit, and it was very polarizing. Like I'll be honest, people either loved it for yeah. what it was, or people were like, "Dude, I hate this. Like, why is this person doing this?" I mean, they had billboards up. Oh, get out of here, man! I never we, heard this from you. No, That's amazing. I'll show yeah, you yeah. pictures. We had billboards in the in the poster. If you look it up, no. it's it's like some fifty <laughs> shades of gray shit. It's a woman <laughs> naked, kind of sprawled down with this guy in a suit hovering over her. Oh, perfect! And right, that, but that was on Hollywood Boulevard. I was on. I <laughs> was <laughs> in Hollywood. No, I'm serious. It was all over the place. I think we had about fifteen po uh, billboards up. Oh, get out of here! That's so it, it pushed the grain. I knew that I needed to do something to push the envelope, and yeah. it helped. That's yeah. I mean, that's, that's the irony. So, all right. You know? So you do all that. Is that is that when you know you had the bug? <laughs> like the yeah. Thing? I mean, I knew that, and I said, look, I gotta jump on my next one. I gotta do. I yeah. gotta find a way because. I, before I shot Misogynist, I went through like six months of developmental hell. Just, I mean, you know, like yeah. raising the money, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. I got screwed by this publicist. You, you freaking name it. Games. Like g going through all of that shit, you know, and especially when you're when you're vulnerable, when you really want it, you know, you're gonna pe people can manipulate and screw you over more because you're, yeah. you know. So, yeah, no. but yes, I 100% knew I needed to keep doing this. That's great. I, I I know how that feels. Like I, I I caught the bug too. You know it. You know <laughs> you know, it. It's, it's great. It's 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 interesting to see like you specifically as a producer yeah. being really in, into it. But you're on both almost every angle for almost all your project. Producer, producer, director, writer, or however yeah. which whichever direction you want to label a writer, director. It's, yeah. I mean, again, I I love directing the most then writing then producing producing a it. pain in the ass yeah I mean, of it, course it, and directing is the best because i get to work with my actors and kind of put it all together yeah it's fantastic you know? well, yeah. that's kind of producing too yeah but just the paperwork of producing yeah, it's dealing with big that headache. organizing everything that's a pain in the ass yeah. at least i think so no i feel that yeah. so right now being on being on the indie side yeah. and you know, you, you have to wear a lot of hats. Yes. With that being said, 
like what takes up the most amount of your time like with, with that like you know um i think i think prepping for your next one i actually have these long pre-productions now because i feel like they're, they're i gotta hear to all have. about it it's it's four or five months of pre-production where the minute that i feel like we got that budget that i at least need to to make it happen then i'm like i'm i'm just pushing and it's like let's it's off to the races let's go uh casting yeah. getting the locations bringing on the crew the table read everything like all of that type of stuff you know talking to my my production designer doing all of that uh i'm always simultaneously doing something where i gotta film in post i'm shooting yeah or i'm in pre or yeah. i'm doing a mixture of all three which since i've known you the past the three yeah. plus years it's been exactly like that it's almost like it's formulaic which is awesome because you can use your creativity yeah. and turn it into a formula that the outputs there and the results are the results it's are real tough i mean you're you're um, juggling all of these and it's it's tough i mean i look i already have a script i have a script that's done a polished script that i want to be my ninth feature but I know that it's going to need a budget. I know that I'm really yeah. going to have to, you know, be measured with this. So I'm going to take my time a little bit more. I want nice. to shoot it later this year. But if that doesn't happen, that's okay. I'll learn some patience. Because I got <laughs> two features that still need to be released. One that's getting edited and one that's close to hopefully being released. Wait, which, which so Charisma uh, Killers? Charisma Killers is the one that's getting edited right now. Got it sweepers is done and you know i can't say too much but yeah, yeah, yeah. you know it'll be released hopefully cool in the next few months or nice. summer that's very yeah. very exciting very so yeah. um you you got all this going on with the films and you started your own production company it's called uh, t tell us a little <laughs> bit about that the name i know that people are going to be enticed with the title well yeah you're talking about italian cowboy production italian yeah. cowboy production that was this an inside guy. joke wow here we go in, with the jokes in, uh, yeah. in in high school senior year that uh a lady gave me and uh, a lady friend or like a, a lady, lady a lady friend more <laughs> than friend something like go. that it was you know a bit of a cowboy got that oh, going on, yeah. you know uh but and it stuck and i'm like hey you know mm -hmm. what might as well use it and i still put that on all of my films you know that's so, great when did that start what year did you first use that uh name? well on my uh, on the first film that i did so i guess the technically short, early, short oh, yeah, feature, early yeah. 07 but wow. it was with me a couple years before that like back in that's 05 so cool. yeah. a long time the italian long time. cowboy michael italian mateo cowboy, rossi italian there cowboy. he is you, gotta, you know <laughs> it, it was something that stuck and it's good uh yeah you know, those are some good times, like, yeah. not to digress, but no, like, I'm go telling for you, you know, yeah, yeah. 18 to 20 were some of the best years of my life. Oh, yeah? It was just... Well, went on, give it, give us a little not, insight. I mean, you know, it was just, it was good, <laughs> like, it was, first of all, I had a first serious relationship that was, of course, you know, it's always exciting, uh -huh. those discoveries, and then making my first film, it's just, yeah. it's awesome, like, I think... I, I don't know if it was like Stallone or something that said, you know, sometimes the, the first film that you do, you know, before you reach the mountaintop, that's almost as exciting as you hitting Rocky Four and making $300 million, you know, or something, because there's so many unknowns. You're discovering, you're going up, and, and, yeah. and that's sometimes the best part. Yeah, the journey and the, the, journey. the, the getting elated just from that, you know, adrenaline is Those it's things. It's exciting. And then you keep going and you know, it's just you you want to keep progressing. But sometimes those those first things, I mean, that's the most exciting. Yeah. And to me. No, nah, I'm, I'm with you, man. You know, the, my my first project's gonna stay with me forever. Yeah. I can't. I, I'll never get as excited about exactly. something as that, or at least feel that way oh, totally, ever again. Totally. And I'm very happy about it. Yeah, yeah. So, tell me about casting. You get some pretty interesting actors and actresses involved in your projects. Like, how do you go about that? Your team go about it? Give, give me, give us the audience some insight. So I cast all my films myself, actually. So and I'm my own. own casting director. Which is interesting, maybe it's a little unorthodox, but I like to be in control, especially with yeah. me having, you know, written the scripts. I know the characters more than anybody else. Yeah. Do I, you know, there's some trusted colleagues that maybe I'll send self tapes to, hey, what'd you think of this? You know, just to get another opinion. 
but I really try to do all of it myself. And I'm uh, I'm a little unorthodox in the fact like that I'll even... Like a cowboy. Yeah, a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll even get I'll get wrestlers on on it. I'll get well, all of these like I'll get these out of the box people. Did you have Rikishi that, or something? Oh, uh, Rikishi! <laughs> I almost had Rikishi. It's a bail out last minute because he had surgery. But Rikishi, shout out, he's a good guy. Yeah, um, sure. But I had some other people. I had some other wrestlers yeah. in it, and they were great. You know, I knew yeah. that they were right for the role, but. I just, I, some people I know are amazing actors and then some people I need to see them read. And then the ones that are amazing, I want to keep working with them again. Do, oh, so you do. I was, that was actually going to be the next question. Do you bring people back? 100%. Yeah. I mean, I, I uh, with the next film I'm going to be doing, whenever it is, uh, two of the leads that were in Charisma Killers, I see being two of the leads in my next one. Oh, that's fantastic. And they're great. Yeah, amazing course, yeah. amazing you know yeah. so i like to work with a lot of the same people that i know are talented that don't bust my balls <laughs> and then the ones that do sorry kicking your ass to the curb yeah, you know, adios amigo. yeah exactly <laughs> like sorry peace but uh Ciao for now <laughs> yeah exactly but then there's some people that i might not work with on my next film but i'll hit them up maybe a film or two down the road yeah. you know it just depends on who's the right fit yeah, I, that, that that's makes complete think, sense. You know? So yeah, I got the cast. So what about the crew? Like, uh, it seems like you're really close to your projects. How do you go about crewing yeah. up? Like, is it different for each film? Do you use the same crew? The, the, the some of the same crew, and then some I vary it up. It depends. Like, for example, you know, my production designer now, you know, Erica, she's incredible. Like, I've worked with her on the last few films, and nice. I'm gonna work with her for for as long as maybe <laughs> I'm doing this. You know. <laughs> Um, but I really, I gotta, I gotta feel comfortable with them. They gotta understand my vision and that's kind of how I see it going, you know, but it's very yes. important. You know, you, yeah, of you're with these people, especially on features, you know, 15, 20, 25 days, maybe more. You gotta get along with them. It's gonna not mm -hmm. feel like torture. You go in there and being like, <laughs> oh, I gotta see this douchebag again. <laughs> right. So that's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's good. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I get that. It's, it's sometimes tough hiring people yeah. and decide to stick with people for, like you said, you know, 15, 100%. 25 days, whatever it is. Um, so to change the subject a little yeah. bit, you know, you have a very engaged and active following on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's pretty yeah. impressive, actually. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, like, one, how'd you get that? And two, how do you use that as a resource? I'm telling you, some people, every time I mention to, you know, the, the person that you'll meet in an event, yeah. they might use Twitter rarely or they might not have it, you know, but it's still yeah. enough people still use it. It happened organically around 2015 or 16. I started to tweet out just advice or little recommendations about the business. What I had seen, people started to retweet it and it kind of manifested itself and I kind of gained a following <laughs> that way. And, and it happened really organically where I would just say stuff that might even be like, okay, Captain Obvious, but people love to like, hear it. Yeah. You know, just even advice of what I look for in an actor or, you know, stuff like where as tough as it is, keep going. Stuff that you hear, but you you need to hear more and more, it's especially nice, in this yeah, business. It's nice to read it. It's nice to read it. Especially from a director. Too. Totally. You know, it's fine. It's not, it's nice a per person. Absolutely. Like stature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of <laughs> course, you, you see it. that. And then it just started to build. People started to share. People said, wow, because you know, look, especially now, there's so much division and negativity with social media. There's people trying to make other people jealous, people getting very political, divisive, all of that. I want it to be somebody where it's like, boom, you go to his Twitter. He's not po talking politics. He's not talking about stuff that's mentally draining. He's either giving advice, talking about his damn dog, talking <laughs> about, yeah. about uh, you know, film, whatever it is. It's a breath of fresh air. And people like that. It's true. And people would hit me up saying, you know, it, it, you're my go to person when I don't need to be dragged down by this stuff. And then not, a couple of bigger people started to follow me on there. And I thought that was cool too. And yeah. some I've reached out to, some reached out to me. 
and some I've also cast based on Twitter. So that's amazing because I, I know that like we speak obviously outside of this, so sometimes sure. hearing the stories from you is pretty impressive. Well, it was it was cool. I I, t- I think yeah. I don't know if you saw me post about it. I fanboyed about this, but Carl Weathers oh, followed yeah, me I did back see that. a that's few amazing. weeks ago. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> Apollo cool. Creed. That's you know <laughs> Dylan from Predator. So it was awesome. Of course, I followed him back. Like he's a damn legend, you know. Oh, yeah. And 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 again, a, a lot of wrestlers <laughs> follow me too. I don't know if <laughs> you're. In that that, space. I'm in that space. I don't know if you watch wrestling at all or yeah. yeah our producer's a big wrestling fan. Yeah. With JR. I mean, you know, again, like, and they're great people. I've talked to a bunch of them too. I, I, Kevin Nash, like, you know. Oh yeah, Kevin <laughs> Nash. Out over here. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know that. Um, Wolfpack. Uh, but but all, all the Paul Heyman, Kurt Angle, you name it. Like they, we all follow each other. So, anyways, oh, no, not to no, dude, that's awesome. But people who know that and and they're good people. Um, of course, I, that's a great community. One hundred percent. I worked with a couple people again on Charisma Killers that that were awesome. You know, um, this Jessica McKay, who used to be part of this Iconics, this kind of uh, women's tag team that was big. Brian Pillman Jr., who was Brian Pillman's uh, this this big guy that was with Brat Hart in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, you do have to. You do I got to explain. explain that stuff, but to people who know. Um, but it was fun, and you know, you can use social media to your advantage, like. I'll tell you, so, it's that yeah. necessary evil. It That's is what I was going to ask. I was asking oh, for yeah. advice. Give give us all the advice we could get off of how to use it's social important. media. It's important. I'll especially be in the entertainment world, like one hundred percent. And especially if you're an actor and you don't have any so, uh, form yeah. of social media, if you're Jack Nicholson or De Niro or Pacino, yeah. all that, fine. Or you know, DiCaprio, you're established, fine. But use that tool to your advantage, like you know, post about stuff. I know it might be a pain in the ass. And I know that like 20 years ago, we wouldn't need it, but now you do. And you can, you can book jobs that way. I've booked jobs that way. I've met really awesome yeah. people that way. Um, Same, so, actually. so, you know, use it, use it, yeah. like plug it, share it, you know, and remember it's the optics of it. The funny thing is, especially with, with Instagram, actually all of my stuff, the stuff that gets the most engagement for me actually is when I take pictures on set or you know behind the scenes on set or at a festival, they eat that shit up. They love <laughs> it. They love it. I do That's throwbacks. True. I did one today where it was me just directing a couple people. People freaking loved it. A lot. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's, it's fascinating fun. too. It's fascinating. Yeah, you know? pe- people. Some people who aren't in that world like to see that too. You know, but absolutely. Yeah. They well, love obviously, that. people in the world like to see that too. But, no, but you know. they love it and they see it. One of the biggest ones that I had on Instagram yeah, yeah, was me. Was me. <laughs> dancing on dude set. i saw i love you, you give that. us a performance <laughs> first of all yeah people were surprised that i could dance a bit i did a cameo where we were doing some like montage were you we were in dancing. the movie i for was that? in the movie for, for that. that for that i was in the movie but it blew the fuck up people were like holy shit this is hilarious mm-hmm. i had an impromptu <laughs> dance off with one of my leads bunch of women in the background <laughs> and it was like we were eating it all up we had a bunch because it was going to be mos uh real music playing in the yeah. background to get us pumped up i had a ball it was freaking i loved it you know so yes going back to it, social media very important yeah. for sure uh, wow. Yeah, it's it's uh, this day and age. Like that's really why I'm doing this. To be honest, like you know, I gotta control right. the narrative a little you bit. You do, you do. Um, you but to, to switch up, uh, do you, do you have any crazy fundraising stories? Because you, you know you're the EP on all your projects too. So yeah. give, give us a, if you could think of one or whatever. I don't I know, mean, some general. You know, I do fund a lot of in part or not a lot of my films that I do. Um, but you know, I have a couple people who believe in me. You know, high net worth individuals that yeah. want to kind of come on and and support me. Thankfully, um, it, it's the hustle. Look, it's the Achilles heel. It's it's the toughest thing. I don't need to tell you that. You uh, know it. Yeah, yeah. we work together. Know that. <laughs> we know it. Yeah. And that's the one thing that holds a lot of indie filmmakers back just the constant yeah. raising of money and then I am back. you know you go <laughs> totally <laughs> yeah. um and then you go to these distributors and sometimes they'll shaft you sometimes mm-hmm. they'll be good 
but there have been a couple films where I haven't seen a damn yeah. red cent. Yeah, I've heard I've heard them. some of your nightmares. But, some of the nightmares you uh, have heard, yeah, but, and and but, definitely won't work with them again. Yeah, that's for it's damn a lot. Sure. You, you learn you learn from things like that. You learn, and sometimes you learn the hard way. But yeah. in terms of interesting stuff, no, I think that some cool. stuff was just kind of coincidental. I I didn't even know that somebody it's was fantastic. well. Actually, one of the investors I met off of Twitter, and I didn't there even know go. they were the investor. And it just happened really organically where they asked, hey, you got any scripts going on? I said, yeah, I do. I have one that I'm currently trying to do. That's, and they asked me point blank. They said, okay, how much to story. do this? Yeah, yeah, they said, they said, how much to do this? I dropped a number and they're yeah, like, yeah. if I could give you half of that, can you make it happen? I'm Write, like, the, Holy check. Fuck. <laughs> Write yes. the check. Now, I thought it was bullshit at first because yeah, yeah, 10 yeah. times it usually is. It checked out. Yeah, and, and and I was very fortunate. If you don't ask, you don't get. That's what I'm saying. That well, interesting you say that because they, I'll tell you something. I know a lot of actors, and if they feel like I'm going to reach out to all of them, and opportunities are going to fall on their lap, it's not how it's going to happen. So if an actor hits me up and nicely, you know, says, "Hey, here's my materials. Please consider me." All that cool like the you know i've cast people based on that yeah i'm same, not gonna reach same out in the management to, world you know you cold it. reach out some sometimes it works sometimes it works you know because especially on twitter i got a shitload of actors who follow me which i all love they're great but i'm not gonna go and try no. to look and scroll through yeah. if they hit me up maybe i see something yeah. in them yeah, I, I love that it makes it makes a lot of sense oh uh, with yeah. so all, all these films that you've made, you, you yeah. s s they make they make the festivals. You got yeah. your, you got your, yeah. you know how that goes. Tell us about a little bit of your festival experiences in the past like few years or whatever. Probably the I've best been to a festival. few with you actually. <laughs> you have been to a few with me. I think that uh, a couple of Anthony's films got into the Hollywood Real Film Festival. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. 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 And um, and my film Chase got into that. And I won Best Action Film there, oh, and that was awesome, freaking dude. amazing. It premiered Congrats. at the uh, thank yeah, you yeah, yeah, of at the ArcLight in downtown LA, and wow. everybody was there. And I, I got to come up in front of everybody, give my little speech, the whole bit. It was awesome on the red carpet. Give a little shout out with my little crystal trophy. <laughs> yeah, you know, nah, these type of things, cool. but I loved yeah, it. I loved fantastic. it. I'd say most of the cast and crew came, so that was awesome, and it was it, it was well received. Yeah, well, it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, like so what, what are some of your biggest, uh, film influences? Like, uh, maybe, maybe it's directors, maybe there's a specific movie or movies. Well, some of the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, dir directors, of course, you know, you can't yeah, go Give us some with, of those eighties, uh, nineties yeah. references. Well, Scorsese, of course, you mm -hmm. know, and James Cameron, Hitchcock, Kubrick, this Japanese director, Kurosawa yeah, is amazing, Kurosawa. you know, all, all of that. Um, James Cameron's up there. Michael Mann, the guy yeah, who yeah. did, you know, Heat, Last of the Mohicans, all of that. Uh, Collateral was amazing. Um, yeah, Scorsese. And then uh, also uh, Paul Verhoeven. He's the guy who did Robocop and Total Recall, Starship Troopers. His kind of ultra violence with that. I, I was like, damn, I love that shit. And it so that ends you. Oh, yeah, there you go. I saw Robocop. That brought out the like cowboy. That brought old. out the cowboy. There totally it is. brought it out there. <laughs> seeing people get shot up, million squibs the whole bit. Oh, my God. You know, getting shot in the dick like in Robocop. Um, it was like, and I saw this shit when I was freaking eight. Yeah, it explains a lot. <laughs> it explains a lot. I'm a nice guy, but I have a warped mind with these these writing this stuff. So those are some of the big ones, you know, definitely. So that that so you base some of your writing off of like so, oh, some of the of films. Some of that. Yeah. Off of some of that. What's like uh, say, yeah. what's the more more recent one that's not out there yet? Like Charisma Kills. Like what are some of the specifics like that? Like ref a reference, even films. some Guy Ritchie type films. It has gotcha. some of that yeah, that yeah. type um, mixed with a little bit of even the Seven Samurai, a little bit of Wild Bunch, like these yeah. this kind of fucked up group of people. Not fucked up, but no, yeah, these, these group that that all are like a family. It's like a fucked up family, no. and they're all killers. Hateful Eight, and they're, yeah, exactly yeah, that yeah, as yeah. well. Tarantino should definitely mention yeah, him, yeah. and they all kill in unique ways. And there's this stylized sense with it, um, but yeah, some of that. You know, oh, that's, I would say that's really awesome. Yeah. Um, so one of the characters is a funny one. Yeah. One of the characters in your film, uh, the, the handler, uh, uh, called uh, Vinny Fior. 
Where'd you get Where'd you get the the inspiration I for that one? From you, right? no. <laughs> you know what? Michael Passion wanted to play like this Italian American gangster Man. and all that, but I thought it was a good name and it, it yeah, was a, good, it was a strong was a, name. I gave him some solid inspiration. He gave it that. He and, did spell uh, it in I E. And you were in it. You were in it. Yeah, tell him tell about that. Tell him about that. Small little cameo thing. You were one of the first people to get killed in it. <laughs> I got killed. And you shot. got killed beautifully. Yeah, well, you saw that. You get shot there. You're reaching up, and then boom, right yeah, there. Heroic That's a nice death. Thing. Yeah, that was um, that was that was a fun day. That was the day I realized I am not an actor. <laughs> it's, you know what? It's tough for Thank me you. too. Even doing the director cameo, it's tough for me yeah. being in front of the camera. But uh, but yeah, had had to give my little nod to you with that. I name. appreciate that. Very I thought that was great. To yours, you know, and all that. That was Got fun. A kick out of that. That was that... a few months into f the freaking pandemic. We shot that in July of 2020. Yeah, it was great. Can you that, believe that? Uh, I, I, yeah, I was there. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but let's go. Do you know that's when I first got that was, that was the first feature set I was on. Yeah, yeah, I, well, yeah. But I just I got think. out here. I just got out here at that and point. And you've gone up exponentially. Since yeah, then. I've been Man, a, I've been two, a busy guy in two and a half years. Yeah, I got yeah, here in November 20, 2019. So it's been just over three. So you got here right before the pandemic hit. Yeah, smart that guy. That must have been hell on earth. We, we, nah. I mean, you know, you remember me and my buddies. We had, we had fun during you that. You had time. fun during it, but you I know, LA not was, not to happen. <laughs> LA was the, the, the last one to open up and the first one to close. You remember that? Yeah, I definitely remember that. that Experienced that, that pretty cool. cool but we had fun. We still yeah, had yeah, to do we some got the, stuff, you know. You know. Yeah, we hung out a bunch during that time. We hung out a bunch. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it was good times, yeah. but, um. But yeah, that that was a fun one to do. Yeah, that was that was cool. I was actually I had good memories from that from that, that was specific a good one feature. To do. Totally. But, um, so I'm I'm gonna do a couple quick ones like sure. more more fun. Hit me but, with uh, that. All right. So we went through a lot of movies, but if you had to pick just one, yes, favorite movie of all time. Yeah, The Seven Samurai. Wow, that was quite cool, Seven man. Seven Samurai. Yep that that's been my number one for probably as long as I first saw it. I think the story, I think the influence, I think just uh, all of it was just, it's epic. It's incredible. It's amazing. Nice, man. So I'd probably be up there as number one. I love that. What about, um, uh, do you have any pets? I do have a pet. Yes, <laughs> yes. I have what a Italian greyhound. And oh, I have yeah. a, a Russian tortoise, Shelly, that's uh, <laughs> older than I am. No way. Oh, yeah. That's oh, interesting. Yeah. Got got Shelley when he was like thirty three and I was ten, so what is he fifty seven, fifty eight? I got to put him in a fucking That's wild. Way. It's it, they have such a slow metabolism. He just he chills and he sleeps most of the time. Are you friendly with him? Yeah, I'm friendly with him. I take him for walks sometimes. I got a little leash. No, I don't. No, I, do I sit there and believe that. I'm gullible. No, 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 no. It's, I take him in the backyard sometimes. He likes throw that. water he on him. A little heat rock. No, I take him. He 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 bathes in the sink sometimes. But these are the important a, questions. Oh, no, of course, of course. No, but I love my tortoise. Are you kidding me? I, I love, love it. My and tortoise. It's, it's, it's like it's, Shelly it's the tortoise. not that. It's not that. He's not that big. I just got not like that. shell, 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 Shelly. Right. Not that big, but he's he's That's cool. Great. He's cool. You know? All right. Yeah. I'm gonna keep that. That was. I made this not quick, but no, um, I, yeah. I, I I blab sometimes. Yes, but no, no, it was me. But how? You know. Uh, do you collect anything? Is there anything? Like I collected comic books. Oh, no, nice, a long man. time. That's cool. Collected comic books. Oh. Liked it. No, yeah, you liked it. Yeah. Which? What was your favorite? Oh, Spider Man, of course. Nice, yeah. Well, interestingly enough, let's hear. I'm gonna say something. My dad actually collected comic books as a kid, and he would buy doubles of them. Wouldn't even read them. Would just put them there. And about when I was nineteen or twenty. We sold all of them, and they were like in mint condition or near mint or something yeah, yeah. like that. And it sold for about seventy-five thousand dollars. Oh, oh my but, god! But real quick, can't believe I'm bringing this up. One regret. <laughs> one wow. regret. We had Amazing Fantasy 15, which is the first Spider-Man. That's actually wow. the first Spider-Man oh, wow. in mid-level grade. We got it professionally graded back in 06. I sold it to a guy for about four thousand dollars do you want to know how much that same graded one no. is worth now just 
what, 16 years it's later. It's like on or something. About that. Yep. Oh, yeah, well. I'm not even bullshitting. Yeah, yep. That's wild. That's how, I mean, these things go up these and down, but happen. I get it. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's like real estate. It's like that. People sell something yeah. Baseball 30 years cards ago. Been crazy. Baseball cards, been you know. Crazy. But, yeah, so comic books were a were big line. Um, uh, uh, breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Dinner. Wow. Okay. Nice. Dinner. Smooth. Dinner. I'm a man of consistencies with breakfast. I always have cereal, but I have cereal <laughs> at night too. What sometimes. cereal? <laughs> oh, everything. You name it. I got like freaking 20 cereals probably spread out <laughs> right there. Great. And a whole thing. It depends what I'm in the mood for. I'm in the mood for more healthy stuff, you know, whatever. Yeah, and then the go. sugary shit. I got all of it. You got raisin bran or something? <laughs> yeah, I got that. <laughs> I got lucky charm. But I got all of that stuff. <laughs> food right. loops, you name it, whatever. That's you all. Do you get the mini box or like the real box? Oh, the real ones. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, with that yeah, shit. None no, of that. No. Small variety pack bullshit. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, they need the big boy box. Need the big boy cowboy stuff. box. This the cowboy big boys box. Play. Come on now, WCW, you know it. All right. <laughs> but, uh, uh, awesome. but yeah, I would say dinner though. Dinner. Oh, dinner. in terms of that. Yes, I guess. Cool. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. that. Thank you. Those. Those my. Those my quicker questions. I weren't that quick. We had. We had fun here. This I, was I great. wanted to. Let, let us close out and just yeah. uh we kept mentioning twitter like you could tell people where where could they find you even though i'm, I'm gonna list this at the bottom but yeah it's it's just look up michael mateo rossi on on facebook on instagram on twitter on um, the google on google and you see all of it it pops up i'm pretty approachable you know you you uh you hit me up if you're not a dick i'll respond back <laughs> you and uh you know yeah you might respond just, if you're a dick too yeah, yeah i might <laughs> fuck off right no but uh you know yeah all of that stuff and i post pretty regularly yeah, i pretty much sure. post daily Wow, um, I need to get on your level. Yeah, this is, is good, you know, to do. But that's that's where you can find me. Wow. What's it called? This was this was amazing. I'm yeah, really great. grateful you came out. This was I a lot of this. fun. I yeah. love this. Yeah, um, thank you, man. But uh, we'll we'll catch up soon, and uh, hopefully we'll have you back at some point. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. Thank you.